Belle is undisputedly the best of the Disney princesses. I mean, she's smart, she's kind, and she's awesome. But don't take my word for it, let's go straight to the source. So Belle, what is it that makes you the best princess? Oh my, we're all such nice princesses. And she's humble too. <laughs> so Aurora, what is it that makes Belle the best princess? It's probably her beast. He's a very charming beast and he keeps her very sweet and humble. False. Sorry Aurora, but you cannot possibly be more wrong. No wonder you only had like 30 lines in your own movie. One of the things that makes Belle the best princess is she doesn't need to be rescued by a prince. She's the one who saves the day. There are only three instances in the movie where men even try to rescue her. Maurice tries to rescue her from the beast. He fails and Belle has to pick up the pieces. Gaston tries to rescue her from the beast, sort of. He fails and Belle has to pick up the pieces. The beast tries to rescue her from wolves. He succeeds, but Belle still has to pick up the pieces. Belle is the hero of this movie and she kicks ass. She's smart, kind, and willing to be self-sacrificial for the one she loves, but not at the expense of being her own person. Plus, she's a literature nerd. And if I may be shallow for a moment, lit nerds are the second sexiest type of nerd. After film nerds, of course. Man, what can I be brown, Joey? Now, some people have criticized Beauty and the Beast for promoting Stockholm Syndrome or planting the idea in young girls' minds that they should date the abusive guy because they can change him. Yeah, if anyone thinks that's the message this movie's promoting, they're not paying attention to the movie. I mean, that may be the message of the original fairy tale, but since when does Disney actually follow the source material? I don't recall an animatronic prince tripping and dislodging a bit of animatronic apple from animatronic Snow White's animatronic throat. Not that I can go back and animatronic check anymore. The point is, yes, at the start of the movie, the Beast isn't exactly pleasant boyfriend material. He's whiny, short-tempered, and, well, spoiled, selfish, and unkind, because he's a sheltered, pampered prince, spending all of his time in Prince World. Prince has been living in Prince World for quite some time. And when he doesn't get his way, he flies off the handle. And yes, it's bad to tell little girls to stay with dangerous guys who act like this, so the movie doesn't. Sir Samursa covered this a while ago in her Beauty and the Beast video, and seriously, if you don't watch her show, what the hell are you even doing on the internet? But basically, as soon as the Beast starts acting legitimately threatening, Belle gets out of there as fast as she can. She only comes back after the Beast does something to legitimately help her. And even then, she doesn't let him completely off the hook. Belle didn't try to change him into boyfriend material. He certainly changed because of her, but she didn't start to like him until after the change had already started. 